A food manufacturer in Grand Rapids accused of exploiting migrant children is now reviewing its policies. A New York Times investigation found companies across the country, including Hearthside Food Solutions, were violating child labor laws. 13 on your side's Carla Byron. Joining us now from the newsroom, and Carla, you've spoken to immigrant family advocates and a West Michigan Congresswoman today. How did they all react to the findings of this investigation? Kirk, they all called it unacceptable and a clear abuse of power by these companies. The White House is even responding by creating a task force to ensure this exploitation never happens again. I will not stand by as this tragedy continues. Congresswoman Hillary Skolton reacting to a New York Times investigation shining light on migrant children working in some of the most dangerous sites in our country. One of those being food manufacturer Hearthside Food Solutions in Grand Rapids, a maker of snack bars, cookies, cereal and more. The company is accused of knowingly employing children with false identities. Something as egregious and and flagrant as children being forced to work in dangerous conditions could be happening right under our noses here in Grand Rapids. Cooley Law School Associate Dean of Experiential Learning Tracy Bram says this is a sad example of an important issue falling through the cracks, a combination of desperation of migrant kids needing the jobs and companies needing the workers. Up until now, some companies have found it that kind of a cost of business, right? So if they're going to be fined for this, they pay the fine. Right, and they keep going because the, the, the benefit to them of bringing in workers, right, has now out, has not outweighed the consequence of flouting the laws. In a statement, Hearthside Food Solutions of Grand Rapids says it takes the allegations seriously and have implemented next steps, including an independent third party review of their employment practices and safety protocols. And I called the White House. HHS and DOL. Skolton says the White House announced the formation of an interagency task force that will come up with solutions. Whether it's closer vetting of sponsors who take these migrant children on, whether it's increasing uh, capacity for agents who can specifically go out and target and identify children who are exploited in the workplace. Skolton adds she wants to make sure agencies like the Department of Labor and Health and Human Services have the resources they need to enforce the law, which may include increasing the civil penalties for violations. Kirk.